One of our favorite things about heading into the fall season is bringing back all of our favorite cool weather recipes. And not all recipes have to be hard and complicated, and today we're going to share three of our favorite fall time snack recipes with all of you. First up, a delicious homemade pumpkin cream cheese dip. I found this recipe online so many years ago that I don't even remember where it originally came from but it has been a family favorite for as long as I can remember. To a mixer, add in two cups of powdered sugar and one eight ounce block of softened cream cheese. Beat until smooth. Next, to your cream cheese mixture, add one cup of pumpkin puree, a half cup of sour cream, one teaspoon cinnamon, one teaspoon pumpkin pie spice, and a half teaspoon of ginger. Mix until all ingredients are completely incorporated. Place in a serving dish and pair it with your favorite fall time cookies. We enjoy this dip with homemade ginger snap cookies or store bought cinnamon graham crackers. This pumpkin cream cheese dip is best served cold and I know your family is going to enjoy this as much as we do. next recipe is an amazingly savory option that we like to serve at parties and gatherings. My mom has been making this homemade Chex Mix ever since I was a little girl, and it wouldn't be a proper holiday without it. Preheat the oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. To a large bowl, add in four cups of corn Chex, four cups of rice Chex, two cups of wheat Chex, and one cup of salted mixed nuts, one and a half teaspoons of Lowry's seasoned salt, and five teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Thoroughly mix together. Transfer to a large baking pan. Q 
cube one stick of salted butter and distribute it evenly onto the pan. Bake for one hour, stirring every 15 minutes. Remove the Chex Mix from the pan and let it cool completely. One of the best things about this recipe is that you can make it ahead of time and have it ready for whatever gathering you want to serve it at. This homemade version of Chex Mix is so much better than store-bought that it will be hard for you to go back to buying it. Caramel corn is pretty much a mandatory snack during our fall time gatherings. And often store-bought caramel corn is full of ingredients that simply aren't the best. While this recipe may not be the healthiest version possible, it is better than store-bought and I promise it won't disappoint. First, you will need 30 cups of popped popcorn. Our favorite is to use the simply salted microwavable popcorn. We like to start by putting our popcorn in a large bowl and measuring it out cup by cup in order to stop any popcorn kernels from getting into the caramel corn. Transfer your popcorn into a large baking sheet. To a medium saucepan, add two cups of brown sugar, two sticks of salted butter, a half cup of corn syrup, and half a teaspoon of salt. Heat on the stovetop until your caramel starts to simmer, and then continue to let it simmer for five more minutes. After those five minutes, remove from the heat and add in one teaspoon of baking soda. Stir it up well. This will make the caramel very foamy, so keep your eye on it. Once your caramel is done, immediately pour it over the popcorn and stir it up well. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Bake for one hour, stirring every 15 minutes. Let your caramel corn cool completely in the pan before serving. Fall is certainly in the air and it's the perfect time for fun autumn flavors. We hope that you enjoy trying out these delicious fall time snack recipes at home. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.